Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Com and welcome to the fifth episode of Project 2100. Yeah, it's been a while, uh, namely, uh, I think one and a half weeks since last Thursday, or not last th Thursday, the, the Thursday before that. I'm uh, very sorry about that. I was very busy in uh, the, uh, the first week and then I was at the dentist, got uh, my wisdom teeth removed, at least two of them, so that's one thing. And uh, yeah, I could not really speak, as you probably can tell if you've all if you've uh, done the same. Uh, especially not in a foreign language, as English is a foreign language for me. Uh, you can probably tell I'm not a native speaker because of my accent and everything. And my poor pronunciation of some words. <laughs> that, that was intentional, sorry. Uh, but uh, um, let's. Uh, let's start with uh, what uh, what we're seeing here on the screen right now. I want to build a small rail yard. If you know me a bit, then uh, you know that I absolutely love trains and, uh, of course, rail yards. So I wanted to have one in there. Um, this rail yard serves the purpose of delivering material to the uh, fusion power plant that we've built last episode. If you don't know what the fusion power plant is about that I'm talking about in the next 15 minutes, then first of all, what are you doing? Second of all, welcome to my channel. And third of all, go watch my last episode. I don't want to be uh, view baiting, if that's, an <laughs> if that's a word or anything. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, another guy who has watched my uh, last video, uh, I think he has, uh, is Silvaret. Uh, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much. Uh, I I just watched your video and uh, saw that you mentioned my name. Thank you very much. Actually, I got uh, some inspiration for how I want to create the city from Amar City because I really like the clean text, uh, clean uh, look. Uh, well, yeah, the textures they certainly add the look of this. But uh, you know, it's uh, the future, and uh, in the future everything is clean, or at least it's depicted. Obviously, this not. It's not true that in the future everything is clean because dirt still exists in the future and uh, everything will get... Um, yeah, I mean, eventually everything will get uh, dirty. But uh, as this is a planned city and everything should be new, uh, this should be very clean, this city, so I really like the looks of those. Uh, another thing that is not really clean, you could say, are those buildings that I've put down. Those are the... Uh, a bit unusual train, train stop. Uh, the bigger building, not that one, uh, those two, but the ones I put down earlier. Uh, not the bigger building or, this, or the long one, they, those are quite old buildings, brick buildings. They are, you know, from the maybe early 20th century or from the 19th century even. I could imagine that uh, of the in the place of this fusion power plant there was another building or another, another factory or facility or anything that needed a rail connection. And uh, so the authorities of this uh, plant, they just took the opportunity, uh, you could say, and uh, took control of those uh, existing infrastructure because, you know, uh, even though I think a, f a fusion power plant is pretty expensive, I would say um, if you could save some money by uh, using existing infrastructure and not having to waste money and uh, energy and resources into making new ones. Uh, that could be uh, somewhat viable options for for those people and yeah, one of those existing infrastructures would be the, the rail track that I'm putting down here. It's a one-way rail track and uh, the problem with those one-way rail tracks is basically that it can be possible that the uh, trains from, uh, two, from both sides approach each other and then they get stuck because they can't cross each other so that's a problem I, I don't know how to fix it maybe I will cheat a bit and put an underground connection and make this track actually a one-way connection but uh, basically what uh, should be uh, transported on those tracks is the fuel or the basic parts or uh, repair tools for the fusion power plant you know uh, fusion energy is typically achieved by uh, deuterium and tritium. Those are two uh, things. How, how are you calling it? Those? Uh, I don't know how the, how the English word is, but uh, they are basically a form of uh, hydrogen. So uh, hydrogen is very abundant, and 
uh, deuterium also, but tritium is uh, quite rare. Uh, but I think there would be a possibility to create tritium, tritium, or just to extract it from some ore or anything. I don't know. You know, it's the future. It's uh, they have uh, basically uh, they have a hundred years to achieve anything of that. So I can say I, I can basically say everything and uh, say yeah, it's the future. So uh, this is possible. But any anyway. Those things have to be transported to the uh, facility, and obviously they have to go through the wild territory, and they have to cross the fence. If you don't know what the fence is, then uh, go uh, back watch my uh, last episode where I explained it a, a bit. But if you don't want to do it right now, I can be, I can totally understand it because this video is so great. <laughs> sorry, I <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, uh, if you don't know what the fence is, this is basically a, a means a means of uh, preventing human interaction or, or human uh, destruction in the nature uh, surrounding uh, the whole city and also this power plant, of course. And uh, yeah, it's basically uh, designed to keep humans out of nature, to uh, make a, a, a big nature reserve uh, without human interaction. Or with barely human interaction, just with a uh, professional interaction where no, no idiot just can go there and uh, walk through it. It's not really designed to be uh, uh, a public recreation uh, thing. This will come uh, so soon. But uh, yeah, obviously you need a you need a station for letting uh, things in and out of this. Uh, so I created this one. Uh, this is basically designed to keep in a whole train. You can see it uh, extends quite a bit into the, the wildlife reserve. Uh, but yeah, it's basically used to scan the whole train of... Uh, to make sure that nobody sneaks his way into the uh, wildlife reserve because it's a reserve. And uh, you... yeah, you, you don't want to... you don't want to go in there because there are wild animals and everything. Uh, yeah, so uh, some basic decoration with decals and yeah, the, the rest of this first part of the video, which will basically be decoration around everything. Uh, yeah, you, now you can see me plopping down trees and everything, so if you like the trees and, and everything, then you can watch. If you don't really like them, then you can close your eyes or wo do whatever you want. But just stay with the video, because there's a second part to the video. Uh, which will commence in just a few seconds or minutes. Uh, I tried to get in some uh, some of those uh, concrete things using the Move It mod to make uh, nice barriers, but they they're quite uh, spaced out, <laughs> if you can say this word even uh, when it comes to water and uh, sloped terrain. So I just let it be with that one thing, and also here. You can see it does not really want to behave like it should be, and also this motor station here. This is, this is fun fact, the only functional motor station for the whole city currently. It is a, a, a little bit of a cheaty version because it is quite OP. And uh, yeah, what else to say for this first part? Oh yeah, um, I got a comment on the last video to please not make power lines. I could make underground uh, lines, but they you need to you need to uh, calculate the cost of everything. Uh, first of all, underground power lines they are quite expensive. You know that you have to rip uh, up uh, the whole thing and put down those quite big power lines because you know this is a ter terawatt factory. I don't know, the terawatt power plant. You know, it's designed to uh, to uh, power uh, basically everything. Um, not really everything, but uh, millions of homes, you know, I'm talking about uh, uh, at least 200 million people. So, uh, it be, there are quite dense cables o over there. Also, uh, yeah, it is. it would be very costly and uh, also you, do, you, need, you would need to rip up basically the whole wildlife preserve. Uh, to just to get in those underground pipes and everything and the infrastructure, you know, you need roads and everything. But uh, with uh, those uh, big pylons, um, you could, I could imagine that there will be some futuristic uh, hovering device, you know, like a helicopter powered by electricity because there's no fuel in the future. Uh, powered by electricity, a helicopter that could uh, 
be strong enough to lift those uh, pylons at once. You know, they are quite tall, they're 50 meters or something. Uh, big, this is, uh, by the way, the, in the video, this is not the second part where I build a construction site, but more about that later. Uh, also, uh, currently the, the cables in those uh, overground power lines, they are made out of aluminium. Which I uh, actually didn't know because aluminium is not really known for being uh, a conductive material. But it is one. It is not as good as copper, of course. But it is much, much lighter. Uh, you, you know, aluminium has a density of, I, know th I don't know, I think two and a half grams per cubic centimeter. And copper has about somewhat of five or six grams. So more less than a half the... Half the, the the weight, so they use aluminium today, but I could think that you, they you can use graphene or something in the future. If you don't know what graphene is, this is basically uh, a one single atomic layer of carbon. Uh, if you could uh, say it like that. But now uh, let's go back to this part of the video, the second part. This construction site, because uh, this power plant is not finished at all, because Population not really growing, but uh, the power consumption of industry and uh, you know space traveling uh, with electric power. I don't know how it works, but it works somehow. So they need to b to to expand this facility. You you have seen there is quite a quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, land around it which you can still build on without uh, without uh, intruding the wildlife preserve. And so I. I wanted to make some realistic looking uh, construction sites, you know, with uh, all those scaffolding around everything and then big, basically a building. The bu I don't really like how the building looks because it looks like a, a big concrete slab, which it actually is currently, you know. But I, I, would, I would like to see a, a proper construction site prop or park. I know there are some. But then uh, I don't think they are they're on this on this scale. Uh, at least there's some construction uh, construction side things. And now I'm uh, I'm uh, choosing some parts to build on this big concrete slab to make it more like uh, to to make it seem like more that the building is not really finished. You know, if there's a concrete slab on the top, this is normally called a roof. But uh, you know, the roof should not be uh, here yet. So I put down many different things on top of this roof I don't know how for what they're used really but uh, those things that I'm uh, using now they are I think they are foundations for pillars yeah they should be and also put down some concrete barrels and I don't know what uh, those drills here they are u they are used actually to, to drill out holes <laughs> that's why they are called drills um, but I they are quite rare. They are quite a rare sight because normally they are just at the very beginning of a of a construction. They are there, but you know this is a uh, you know the the construction still going and there are cranes and everything. I really like those props. They are a hell a hell for my compute because of all the uh, um, of of all the trees trees. How how are they called? Trees so name uh, yeah, because of all those uh, little uh, things and nooks and crannies. Uh, so yeah, but now I uh, I put down some uh, offices, some construction offices, and also a fence should be in here quite soon. And I really like how it how it looks. I and I encourage you to try something uh, similar, maybe in a big downtown. That would be nice to see uh, a big construction area with uh, all the scaffolding and actually. Uh, like it looks uh, realistic. Actually, if you look from afar and you don't really notice how the slab uh, or how the concrete slab looks, uh, it looks quite convincing. And uh, please don't mind those blue trucks, they have no way to go, but they're there. Uh, I don't know why I've put them down, but uh, they're there. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can see, they're quite nice. Very, very nice. And also my uh, my beloved fence here. I don't know how it's, it's called, but it's in my collection. Uh, the link to my collection is to my asset and to my mod collection. They are both down in the description. And yeah, now I'm running out of uh, things to tell. Yeah, 
uh, one thing the more to tell is that we are still not finished with this power plant because uh, it's uh, the main main reason for the city to even be here if you would want to in know more of that there's episode 4 for you to watch if you want to see more of that but uh, there's still uh, some decoration to do and I don't know if I will do it on camera for the next episode but um, maybe I will uh, please give me a small feedback if you want to see that I will definitely 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 record it <laughs> And uh, I don't know if it, if, if, if I will put it in uh, or start uh, another project or at least build uh, more on my uh, city because I have some ideas there. And here I'm trying out some lights to put on the cranes, but uh, it doesn't really work because all the lights uh, go uh, up or face uh, up. If you if you know a light that's basically a, a light bulb and goes in every direction. Uh, then uh, please let me know and I will decorate those cranes because you know cranes are normally lit up in the night to to avoid any crashes with the helicopters or I don't know what maybe maybe planes but the planes don't work anymore here because of no fuel no oil but uh, thanks very much for watching and now some cinematics in the end thank you very much and goodbye